Hey guys, I hope y'all had a great weekend. And I hope you have a good week too. I had a pretty good weekend. It was a little bit busy, but I had time to do something that I don't normally do. Rent some movies. So I wanted to kind of go over them and share my perspective with you. I actually think every one that I saw was worth the money I paid to watch it. Um, and spoiler alert, because yeah, spoiler alert. If you hear any growling, that's just the flowers. And if you hear any crowing, that's my little old man prince. He's a little bit older, so I bring him inside sometimes when it's colder. I don't care what people tell you. Even if it's a bug, they like soft stuff. True story. Anyway. Um, I also noticed that all three of these movies, they deal with mental health. And I don't think that's a coincidence, given the uh, legislation keeps being brought up to take away guns from American citizens. So... Um, I don't think that's a coincidence. But, anyway, let's get to Joker. Joker, the newest one, to start off with in the opening when the radio announcer is talking, um, he mentions 42, also the reflection, 24. October 3rd could be 13 if you drop the two zeros. I know that, uh, from what I'm learning, numeric signatures are used in propaganda, and I'm thinking they do it in movies as well, after, like, hearing that, but it could be something else, I don't know, um, some sort of stamp. I was skeptical because I'm not big into Heath Ledger the person, but the character, the Joker, that he played, that version of the character, that's my favorite. And so I was not sure if this movie would measure up, and I don't know, honestly. I kind of went into it just expecting a movie, because I knew, and I think, that if I would have went in trying to versus mode, it would have been a no-brainer for me, and that's, you know, just my opinion. But, uh, I really did like the version of the Joker. It was kind of interesting. I can't watch it over and over again like I could in The Dark Knight, but I am glad I saw it. And, uh, it showed you Arthur Fleck, the main character's perspective. It provoked a lot of empathy. It shows you how... He's broken down with just everyday life. And, uh, it also, like, at some points, it shows you the flip side to what you might think might be a joke. It might not be a joke to someone else. So, kind of makes me glad that I don't mess with people in certain ways. But it was very interesting. I had actually heard that it was like, a, a video to make gamers look bad, or a racist video, or, um, I heard a lot of things, like, rich versus poor, rich people were concerned, um, I don't even know where they got the gamer thing from, maybe it was a perspective or something, but, and then I heard in one review that at the end it says, joke's on you, Joker. Uh, I didn't see that part, so I don't know if it was changed since, or, or what, but it wasn't what I was expecting, but I was still pleased with it. It was sad, and, uh, at the same time, well, not at the same time, but later on, he was an entertaining Joker. So the story, Ma, that movie was... A story about a woman who, as a girl, was basically done really dirty by some of the people in her town. And uh, she befriends their children. They don't know the history, but she befriends the children of the people who hurt her. And uh, 
I think she had some mental problems because Ma, that lady, she had a daughter. And I didn't like that they, they always in movies try to make homeschooling look like a bad thing. And it's like, um, why don't you show the flip side of that? Because there is. But, um, she definitely had something wrong with her. I don't remember what it's called, but there is actually a term for it. She kept her daughter home from school, and she wanted to mention shaving off all her hair since it was going to fall out anyway. She was shooting her up with something. As supposedly, and I'm, I'm sure it's true, I don't like to think about it, people will make people sick or try to, to collect money or sympathy or I don't know. But she had some issues, and, uh, she, she, another reason she had issues at the end of it, it ends with her crawling into bed with her house on fire burning next to the guy that she killed, who was the guy when she was a little girl who embarrassed her, but she had a crush on. So it kind of left me with the impression, like, how deep do we cut when we cut? We should probably be aware, like, I don't know, I wasn't the nicest little child, I wasn't the kindest little child, but, some, I don't know, I didn't do certain things, like, I wouldn't compare myself to some stuff either, because it's just, I don't have the nature, the, in what the hell is the point of that, you know, I'd rather hug a freaking chicken, okay, real talk. I know it sounds like, but it is what it is. Anyway, so that's what that movie made me think of. And then Us. Us was really good. I had watched a review because I was curious about it prior to watching the movie. So I already knew the plot twist, which I, I like. I like spoilers. Um, and the plot twist was that the girl had been exchanged in the beginning. She walked into a fun house, and her reflection doesn't move. You don't know until later on um, that she's been exchanged with the double. And it's interesting because the mom's talking about how she wants her daughter back. They're bringing the child to um, somebody because she won't talk after the experience. And they think she was traumatized real bad. I don't know if she, the girl in that, where she came from, knew how to talk. But, uh, trust your instincts. That's what that reminded me. And at one point you meet the main character's double, who is actually the real child of the people in this realm and uh she explains that she believes they were a government experiment to manipulate human behavior that was abandoned and uh they were like called tethered but they were like people's doubles and basically they could take over the main person's place if they killed them i don't remember if it was required if they ate them too but apparently uh the girl returning to the location where it occurred was a trigger so that they could all come out. And, um, like I said, I think that they were all good movies. But another thing I've been seeing, unfortunately, is, uh, all the stuff going on in Virginia. I'm very proud of the people in Virginia. Um, I don't know if people get the wrong source, they just don't want to see things, how people don't notice certain things, coincidences, that, how could that be a coincidence? Logic exposes a lot, you don't even need to do that much studying, logic exposes so much, and then it gives you something to look into. I really just try to think that people are caught up in the, you know, pinwheel survival of life, 
but I hope people start thinking because it seems pretty obvious to me uh, who's instigating things. I mean, they're messing with legislation, media, Hollywood movies. So, I've been waiting for this state of emergency thing. Um, a while back I heard that the laws were put into place so whenever it happened it could be activated but it wasn't active so nobody was worried about it but uh, some sort of law where the president can become the dictator or something like that so that's why I've been looking for that um, but see I don't know honestly a site I need to find a site where I can look at laws and it be credible. Let me bring it to somebody, you know, but I am obviously pro gun. I've seen people be responsible with guns. I mean, I live in Texas, I'm American. I honestly wondered. Ever since I was a child, why people everywhere were not allowed to have guns for protection. Um, everyone, honestly, that I've seen who have lost their rights to have guns, they've warned Americans not to give up their guns, so... And really, it's weird to me, because if you're a good government, your people, if they're armed, they're going to have your back. Uh, I guess great men have made such mistakes before, though. Weird that people push these illogical arguments, but I think it's because the mother of memory is repetition. It's really sad the influence that the American government is under. I feel like with friends like that, who needs enemies? Nobody needs somebody undermining them, but, you know. I, uh, drink Japanese soda, and if you like sweet, you should try it. I tried the strawberry one. It was really good. And we're going to close here. So, I'll talk to y'all later.